be looking at what it is like to be working with blob storage uh, along with uh, an extension to the S3 pipeline we had uh, made last week. Um, it's fairly simple. Uh, it uses essentially the same thing. Uh, so the kind of data that you have going in over here are CSVs like this, uh, which are coming out at this point. And uh, so the pipeline remains the same as we've seen. Um, you have the ingested data that looks like this. And so what's working over here is this portion. Now, up till last week, we saw up to here. Now we will look at this part. Uh, of the pipeline. So this particular node that we are looking at is uh, the node red uh, Azure storage uh, node. Um, it comes with the upload and download. So we are working with the upload over here. I want to send data to uh, blob storage. And so now you have two key differences over here. One is this particular node works in two modes. One is binary mode and the other one is file node. Uh, so in file node, the thing is you do need a file path. In my case, I have, as we saw, we have data being generated and we are being pa and we are passing it out. Uh, so this doesn't uh, make sense for us. We'll have to run it in binary mode. But if you do have uh, a particular file in your file system that needs to be pulled, uh, you can just use that. Um, it's fairly uh, intuitive. Um, the other portion in this is you have, so it's it's not really written in here in the documentation, um, but you will have to write your blob name. Uh, if, you, if you want it dynamic, you can of course put it in here. Uh, but if you want a dynamic system here, uh, to parameterize the input, you'll have to, so in our case, our data coming out over here was, uh, with the message dot file name at this point, uh, you do need to, uh, put the set that to the blob name with this particular, uh, value in, uh, so that it's not a part of these details. So you might have to keep that in mind. Uh, an extension to that is since we are running it in binary mode, we will have to convert this data into a buffer. So that's what's uh, happening over here. Apart from this, um, most of what we have um, is fairly simple. Um, it makes it very easy to keep track of in case you need it. If your uploads are successful or not, um, you can just take the output here and look at the payload.success values over here. Uh, so as you can see, this is fairly easy to work with um, in in the same pipeline as we had uh, with our S3 outs. Um, your data remains the same. You do need uh, this additional bit of modification. Uh, this node works fairly well. Um, you have those two modes. And uh, this is essentially what you need to get started with uh, your downloads on um, uh, sorry, your uploads with uh, Azure Blob Storage. You can start with downloads also using the other nodes.